Hello everyone! Welcome to a new video all about manifestation tips for this new year. So 2023, try to start to feel that fresh start. There's something comforting about knowing there's all this space and time ahead. And I want to give you those extra special tips that are going to make it easy and clear for you as you start to manifest those dreams. So maybe you're trying to manifest one specific thing into your life. Maybe it's something that you've always thought about and you haven't figured out how to make it happen. I'm going to give four specific tips that is going to make it an easy process for you. So let's get started. Now, a special thing to know when manifesting is that you have to be very realistic and very conscious of what you are thinking about. So manifesting something, for example, like I want to win the lottery or I really want to live in a mansion is something that right now might not be realistic. I mean, winning the lottery is already something that is never realistic, but I want us to think about things that are very close to us already. So just for starters, think about something that you're very passionate about. You know, take the time with yourself and really understand what makes your heart happy. So what are your passions? Are you passionate about music, books, art? Are you passionate about cars, clothing, healthy eating, mindfulness, yoga? Try to really know, okay, these are my passions. These are the things that make my heart its most full, its most happiest. And then on the other side, what are things that you are good at? Your talents and your gifts. And the reason why we have to know the things that we're good at is because the better you are at something, the more success you're going to have from it. You can absolutely love, for example, um, let's say you love math and you love business and money, but you're not very good at it. There's going to be so many more steps that you're going to need to take to get better at it. So let's start small. What is something you're very good at? Do you have a way with people? Do you have a way with words? You know, do people tell you, oh, you're always so funny and light. You always make me laugh. Oh, I love how you're a good listener. Thank you for always being a good friend. These things are so special not just for who you are, but also for who you want to be. Take those gifts, take those things that you are good at, and let's work on them. Let's put more energy and time into them. So this is very important because then we can bring the two together. What are you good at and what are you passionate about? You know, are you very good at yoga and are you very passionate about it? Can we bring it together? And maybe that's your new business or career path that you've been dreaming about. Maybe that is that hobby that you need to take for yourself every single day. So these are little examples. You have to take that time for yourself. So find the stuff you are good at and find the stuff you are passionate about. And that is what we are going to be manifesting in 2023. So now that we have a beautiful intro as to what path we should be on, how are we going to get there? Let's go into four steps to get to this path. So manifestation tip number one is stress management. Our world is so busy, so loud and noisy. It is very obvious that we are going to have moments where we have high levels of stress. But if we're constantly feeling high levels of stress, it's going to affect our productivity. We're not going to be able to work really hard on the things that we love, on the things that we're passionate about, if we're constantly feeling overwhelmed. So we have to find a way to manage our stress. And it's always easier said than done. And it's going to be so different for everybody. So maybe for you, once you know exactly what are the things triggering your stress, what are ways that you can deal with it better? So of course we can always come, sit down, meditate, try to empty our minds of anxious thoughts. We can make sure we do that yoga practice every day. 
One thing that I really love is when I'm feeling very overwhelmed and stressed, I really take a day to do nothing. So if it's a hard work week, maybe you won't be able to take a day off. I don't know if your workplace can do like a mental health day, but try to take a Sunday when you're not working where you can just from morning until night do absolutely nothing and whatever that nothing means to you. So it can mean watching TV all day, only if it's gonna recharge your spirit, not if it's gonna make you feel slightly more down or less motivated. Something to make you feel as if those responsibilities don't have to be on your shoulders today. We can tackle them tomorrow. Sometimes it's just like having that little tea or coffee. I know sometimes when I take the time to make myself a good latte and I sit down in silence, just drinking the latte. So from the moment I sit down, I drink it, I don't play any music, I don't look on my phone, I just try to take, maybe it's two to three minutes, maybe it's five to 10 minutes, and to have a drink with myself. So stress management is key. Once we can start realizing that we have the control to create our own peace and remove that stress, then we can go into the next step. And this will all take practice. So stress management doesn't mean because you did a great job one week, next week you're gonna be feeling completely light and very motivated. No, you're gonna have your ups and downs and it's always going to be like a practice. It's always gonna be, self-development is not something that just stops. It is a lifelong journey, so you might as well just enjoy the process and just find those little things that make you smile. Manifestation tip number two is going to be confidence. Once you've released some of that stress, you're gonna be feeling lighter. And in this light, your frequency can rise. And as we let our frequency rise, that is when our best selves come out. We can feel a sense of confidence and within confidence comes your power. So if we don't have the confidence to believe that we can actually create the path, and make our dreams happen, then most likely our dreams are not gonna happen. We're gonna be blocking ourselves already mentally. And if we're still feeling that we don't have this potential and this capability, then maybe we're not gonna put in the work to actually do it because we've already convinced ourselves that we can't. So we're removing this blockage and we're building that confidence. This confidence building can be something as simple as every day telling yourself affirmations that help you specifically. So if you have to breathe and say, I am successful, I am talented. I love to state out the specific talents that I have because when you start to realize that you do have these gifts and these qualities that are specific to you and that are not general to just everyone, it starts to feel really good inside. I am good at yoga. I'm good at connecting with people. I have a clear and strong voice. I have a lot of inspiration that I want to share. So write down those things that you really believe about yourself. What are you good at? and use that to build your confidence. And this has to be detached from ego. We don't wanna build ourselves up to feel better than anybody else. We just wanna feel so proud and grateful of who we are because we need to have a high frequency in order to start manifesting. Let's go into manifestation tip number three, and that is routine. Once you have released all that stress, Maybe not all of it, but once you've released most of it, the things that were blocking you, and you're feeling better, you're building that confidence, you're feeling stronger, now it's the time to build a routine. And routine is one of the most important steps because that's where the productivity is gonna come in. Every day, put in the work. Even if putting in the work means you need to be very productive for one hour and for the rest of the day, let yourself rest. Create your sense of routine. You wake up, you put in the work for that one thing that you really want, and then you let yourself have it. Now, this routine can be a routine for one week and then you need to change the routine next week 
You can do the routine by season. This is your summer routine. Maybe you'll be more productive, for example, in the winter time than in the summertime because in the summer you want to enjoy yourself. These things are totally okay. Because remember, we don't want to add stress. We want to first relieve the stress, feel confident, and use that confidence to be productive, to put in the work. So, for example, if you're writing a book, put in the work. Make sure there's a routine that every week you have enough allotted time and hours towards that goal. You know, the routine can also include your self-care and your work ethic. So, are you having a balanced routine where not only are you taking care of yourself, but you have time for family, friends, and time for work? That time for work can be a lot more positive when we're excited about it and confident about it and passionate about it. If you're forcing yourself to do the work, then you're not going to manifest this easily into your life. It has to be something that is really building you up and continuing to raise your frequency higher. And our last manifestation tip, number four, is going to be faith. Now, this can be considered the most important step because without faith, and whatever faith that means to you, whether it's a spiritual faith, whether it's just a feeling that you kind of know and have within, you need to believe that you can achieve your goals and your dreams. You have to believe that you can do it in this year, right now. If you don't believe it, then you're already distancing yourself from it. So truly ask yourself, even if every day you have to ask yourself the question, do you believe that you can achieve your goal? And every day make yourself say, yes, I do believe it. I believe it in my stomach, in my gut, in my heart, in my soul, in my mind, in my head. Believe it wholeheartedly because that's what's going to continue to raise you up, to give you that good vibration to actually introduce this into your life. So faith, believe that you are not a victim in this world, that bad things don't just happen to you. Believe that you are capable of good things. Good things just come into your life because you deserve them, because you put the work in, because you bring yourself to a good, happy, and calm place. You know, when we talk about manifestation, we sometimes don't stress enough the fact that you have to be in a good place in order to receive these things. You have to be ready for them. So believe it. Believe, I am ready to receive this now. I am ready for my dreams now. This is going to be so powerful. So I really hope that this spoke to you. I really hope at least that it inspired you to make 2023 the year that you want it to be. So follow these four steps, write and comment down below if you want to share anything that speaks to you, if you've tried these steps and you're starting to feel a little bit of result. Thank you so much for listening, for being here with me today. I hope to have more talks like this about all things yoga, mindfulness, meditation, manifestation, and so on. Thank you, everyone, and have a beautiful new year.